Anime clothing has become a staple in the fashion industry ever since its rise to popularity in the early 1990s. Everyone can be seen wearing anime clothing. It's become so popular that people that don't even watch anime are drawn to the artwork that has been depicted on this clothing. So today, I, Free the Culture, am going to give you five places where you can cop quality anime clothing today. If you're looking for news, updates, reviews about anime and general things going on within the culture, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And I appreciate you for watching the video. So the first place we're going to be looking at in today's video is Spencer's. Kids, beware. Seriously though, Spencer's has a lot of adult stuff in there that kids should not be seeing, so stay away from that. But if you're looking for quality anime merchandise, Spencer's is one of the first places you should visit. Spencer's has all sorts of clothing in there. It has Demon Slayer, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, a lot of the popular mainstream anime that you can find on Netflix and Hulu. Spencer's is going to sell you a t-shirt for a low, low price, all right? I usually go to Spencer's when I'm looking to start my collection of t-shirts for a particular series. Like for example, JoJo's The Bizarre Adventure or Hunter x Hunter. They aren't the most popular mainstream anime that you can find a t-shirt for. So I go to Spencer's just to start up my collection. They usually have black t-shirts, which is very good for people that are just starting out their collection because black goes with anything. Let's be real. Spencer's usually has really good deals on t-shirts. Most of the shirts are going to be about $20. And the good thing about it is if you buy four shirts, you get a fifth one for free. And I'm not sponsored by Spencer's, y'all. Not sponsored by anybody who will talk about it in this video. I'm strictly giving this for the culture. But if you spend $80 at Spencer's, you get $100 worth of value. So you could easily start your collection at Spencer's for only 80 bucks. You can get a variety of different t-shirts from a variety of different series, and I love that about Spencer's. There are some downsides with shopping at Spencer's, though. The first thing that I will mention is that there isn't too much color variety. Oftentimes, when you go to Spencer's to buy a shirt, you're probably gonna get something black. If it's not black, it's going to be white. And as somebody who likes to play around with the color scheme when they're wearing clothing, black and white, typically it's boring, right? It's a good way to start a collection like I mentioned earlier in the video, but once you have established a collection, you're always looking for pieces that stand out in your closet. So if everything's black, it's kind of like, a, you know, the artwork may be a little different, but at the end of the day, it's just a black shirt, and you already have plenty of those by this point. Another drawback about shopping at Spencer's is that the quality of the clothing is a little on the weaker side. Compared to a lot of the other stores that we're gonna talk about later in today's video, Spencer's doesn't really hold up when it comes to the printing quality of the shirt. Now, most of the shirts are gonna be made of a cotton and it's probably gonna be screen printed on the shirt. The thing with screen printing is that sometimes if you don't wash the shirt properly and avoid drying it in the dryer, the quality of the image will degrade over time. Oftentimes, there are times when you feel your shirt at Spencer's and it feels very thin, like it's easy to rip, it's very delicate, and the shirts will most likely shrink in the dryer. That's why I tell people, do not dry your anime merch, man. Just let it air dry. It'll last you years and you'll get your money's worth. But if you choose to dry your clothes, Spencer's is really not the place where you want to get your clothes from because they'll probably degrade over time. I have a Dragon Ball Z shirt that I probably will show somewhere over here in the video that I got from Spencer's about four years ago. And you can see that the screen printing starting to fall off. And the shirt has shrugged, the black's fading. I will say that I didn't know the most about taking care of my clothing back at this time, so it could be a fault of mine for not knowing how to wash my clothes, but still, if you look at the shirt here, it's about to fall apart. I really don't even wear it that much because of the quality of it, so there's that. I mean, if you're looking to get a gift for somebody or you really want to start a collection today, Spencer's is a great place to go because you get the clothing that day. You don't have to worry about shipping or all that other hassle, so. Like I said, great cheap place to start getting the clothes. And sticking to the theme of stores that you can find in the mall, the next place we're going to visit is Zoomies. Zoomies is more known for its skater side of things, but it has some fire anime merch. And I'm talking Fuego, you got Highland, you got Primitive, popular anime merch brands that partner with Zoomies to promote their products. And when I tell you their stuff is quality, I mean, it is circling around what Spencer's provides. It is 
quality cotton, it's thick, it has good material, and I love the high plan and primitive designs because most of the time when you're looking at a shirt with a popular anime design on it, it's usually just going to feature the characters in a similar fashion to what's on the shirt. But high plan, oftentimes they do a lot of cool stuff like the design may be on the back, it may just take up a portion of the shirt like a polo embroidery logo or it may be on the sides or on the sleeves like it's really a nice way to set the clothing apart from where you can find it in other places i really appreciate that about zoomies another thing that i will mention about zoomies is that there's a lot more variety when it comes to the clothing that you can find in zoomies okay so they have pinks they have blacks red oranges they have hoodies and sweaters and jackets and hats there's all sorts of stuff that you can cop from Zoomies that you can't really get at Spencer's. And when I tell you the stuff is quality, I mean it guys, it is quality. It's quality stuff. The stuff that I get from Zoomies lasts over time. It doesn't shrink in the dryer. It withstands the heat of Florida and the temperatures. Like I'm telling you, if you take care of this clothing, it'll look brand new for years. And I really do appreciate that about Zoomies. But a big drawback. You get what you pay for. Now, you guys remember what I mentioned about Spencer's. One of the best things about it is that it's cheap. You can spend 80 bucks, get five shirts. That is not happening at Zoomies. I don't think I ever got a discount code while shopping at Zoomies. The shirts are gonna be anywhere between 34 and $40. Sometimes they hit about $24, but most of the time you're looking at at least $35. And the hoodies, mm, 60 to 70 dollars now the quality hoodies but uh, <laughs> that's a lot of money to drop on some merch now I think about it for the price of one hoodie you'll get five shirts from Spencer so you know it's kind of like a risk versus reward type thing so I really do think that if you're somebody who's just starting off their clothing collection zoomies is somewhere that you should just try to avoid until you really establish a solid base so okay i got each shirt from each series that i wanted to i got a black i got a white and now i'm really starting to look into different color schemes and different designs for my shirts because you will be spending a lot of money if you want to get a good amount of clothes from zoomies but they will be different so i definitely recommend zoomies to anybody who's really established a clothing collection and another perk about Zoomies is that you do get the same day because if you buy it at a mall, you're leaving with it that same day. The next place that I'm going to recommend in today's video is Shop Atsuko. Yes, an online retailer for anime, but when I tell you this place is booming, man, this place is bananas. I really love shopping on this website. I window shop on here from time to time because it has everything. Like, when I tell you it has almost every anime, it, it has every anime. It has your shonen anime, it has your one-off series, and I think that if you're somebody who is really ingrained into anime culture, and you've been looking for some merch, Shop Atsuko is the place for you. Now, the reason why I like Shop Atsuko is that their designs are out of this world. Like, better than Zoomies, better than Spencers, you get short sleeve hoodies, you can buy jerseys, long sleeve tees, hoodies, sweatpants, socks, hats, like it's got everything. I feel like it's truly an anime boutique. Like there are so many different styles of clothing that you can buy from Shop Atsuko that some people have never seen before. Like this Yu Hakusho jersey that I'm about to show you guys is bananas, man. Like look at the design of this thing it looks like an actual sports jersey like have you ever seen anything like that in the mall or at walmart or target absolutely not and the beautiful thing about shop atsuko is it has almost every series you can think of in its store i really like shopping at shop atsuko because of the color quality the, the variety of colors the variety of styles and the variety of artwork to me every single piece of artwork they put on their clothing is something that's handmade now a lot of times you guys know that when companies are trying to design a t-shirt they have to get it approved by the owner whoever has rights to that series like for example if i wanted to get a dragon ball z hoodie printed and sold i would have to get permission from funimation 
the owner of Dragon Ball Z. Once you start to shop for anime clothing more frequently, you're gonna notice that a lot of the designs are reused in different stores. Why do you think that is? Sometimes companies are very strict about the designs they let out there because at the end of the day, you are representing their brand, their image. So a lot of companies have a lot of stock designs that they put on different t-shirts and eventually you're gonna get bored with a lot of these stock designs. Shop Atsuko does not play with that, man. It's legit stuff, it's approved, and I really like the designs there, man, because it's unique, it's different. You're not gonna find these on another website. But my main drawback to Shop Atsuko is, once again, these prices. Now, we talked about Zoomies being expensive, Shop Atsuko, hella expensive. That jersey I showed you guys earlier was $70 retail. Now, fortunately, a good thing about Shop Atsuko, if you're willing to wait around certain holidays and times throughout the year, they will do discount codes, 25% off, free shipping, etc. But if you want something today and you want to ship today, you're paying hella for some retail, man. Like, some of the hoodies cost $90, man. And you know, the quality will not disappoint. You're gonna get $90 worth of merchandise, but if you really think about how much your $90 can do somewhere else, it's kind of a deterrent from buying stuff from here that often. That's why I got the jersey, because I know, like, look, I'm gonna spend $70 on this jersey, but I'm not going to find this anywhere else, so it's a worthy investment. And the other drawback about Shop Atsuko is you're buying it online. Now, the good thing about buying things online is that you're usually going to get what you want. They're probably going to have the size you want in stock, but you have to wait. So if you got a date later that day and you're trying to go out and drift your favorite anime merch, because we know anime girls are the best, you're not really going to be able to impress her if you go on Shop Atsuko, because it's going to take at least a week for it to get to you. Now, I will say the shipping times are very reasonable. They do come within a week. They use UP, USPS, excuse me. They use USPS to get things to y'all. But you're gonna have to wait. So, like I said, same thing with Zoomies. I triple apply it to Shop on Suko. Once you really get your foundation set with your anime wardrobe, this is like where you wanna go. This is a place where you want to be buying some more clothes from. Because when I tell you the quality of clothing that you get from here, like I bought a Gundam tee off this website. It is the best car that I think I've ever touched. It's a nice fit. It, it really cuffs on the body. Like 10 out of 10, recommend. But only if you got that coin. So I got to see you for you. And listen up. The next place I'm about to show you is going to surprise you. Because these places, people sleep on. But I'm telling you, when you can get some anime merch from here, it's gonna blow your mind. Dee's, Ross, Play-Dohs. I said it. Dee's, Ross, Play-Dohs. These places are so slept on when it comes to anime merch that people miss out on steals. I'm talking steals, all right? If you are willing to look through the pile of rummage that's often presented in these stores, I promise you, you will walk away with some drip, all right? So, me, I love going to Ross, I love going to DVDs, Playlist Closet, and just searching for some quality anime merch. You can find vintage clothing from the early 2000s that somebody just decided to sell or even throw away. You can get that shit for $5. Five dollars. Now you gotta wash it. It may be a little warm, but it's so vintage. It's a design that you're not gonna be able to find anywhere. And if you do find it on somewhere like Grail.com or Poshmark, it's probably gonna be triple what the original price is. I love going to Ross, DDs, Play-Dohs, insert your favorite department slash strip store here because they have quality clothes for the low. Yes, quality clothes for an extremely low price. Now, out of all the places I've mentioned in this list thus far, this is easily the place where you're going to find the cheapest anime clothes. I promise you, if you go to Dee Dee's, Ross, or play those, and you find a long sleeve or short sleeve t-shirt that you like, you will not be paying more than $10 for that shirt. That is outrageous. Outrageous, man. Now, here's the drawbacks to this, though. I'm willing to bet 99% of the time, if you go to DDs, Ross, Play-Dohs, etc., and you pick up a t-shirt that has an anime design, do you know which anime it's going to be? 
yeah, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> if it's not Dragon Ball Z, it's going to be Naruto. And if it's not Naruto, it's probably going to be Avatar the Last Airbender. If anybody goes to one of these stores and finds a t-shirt that isn't one of those three animes, I'll cash out for $2. You got my word. But in all seriousness though, these places are really good about just adding a little bit to your wardrobe. If you're like a collector like me, and you just like having cool anime shirts, like every time I go out, I'm usually wearing something with a cool anime design on it. This is a good place to go. Now granted, you're probably gonna get some basic designs like white or black, and you really have to dig through a lot of rubbish because there can be some bad clothes at these places, man. I'm talking like, it looks like a third grader drew some of this stuff and they just kind of put it back on the rack. But I'm telling you, if you have an eye for quality, you can find a lot of good stuff. Like this hoodie I bought, now I did buy this off eBay, but the person who I bought it from, they got it from Marshalls, which is another thrift store. And they got this for like, I think 30, $15. Now, you can find the same hoodie at Paxson, and they're selling it for $60. So I'm telling you guys, look through these places before you decide to pay the coin at Paxson or any other high-end retail store. Because oftentimes, they're getting their stuff from the same supplier, but they're just putting the Paxson brand on it, and they're selling it to you for triple the price. Don't fall for it. If you're willing to cop like a Dragon Ball Z or a Naruto shirt for the low low, I promise you, you will find deals, man. You'll find vintage clothes that hasn't been around for years. I'm telling you, do not sleep on these places because you will not be disappointed. And it's kind of fun to look through the trash and find some treasure, man, if I'm keeping it on. And the last place I'm going to recommend, the king or queen or something non-binary, whatever, but still, the goat. The goat of anime, clothing, Etsy, 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 Etsy. Most of my anime clothing has come from Etsy. I like Etsy a lot. You wanna know why? Because Etsy is like going to Burger King. You can have it your way. And it's not gonna be shitty clothing, but you're gonna have it your way. If you want a hoodie with a design on it, they'll make a hoodie. What color do you want the hoodie to be? Oh, okay. You want it large, extra large, small? We got you. Oh, so you're a big fan of Digimon Savers one anime series that very few people have seen. You want a t-shirt with the main character on it? We got you, we got you, we got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, Etsy is like a shop for all when it comes to anime. I mean, when I talk about the most obscure anime, probably I have some type of merch on here. I'm telling you, everybody needs what we met if you shop at Etsy. And I really like Etsy because it kind of encompasses everything I talked about in today's video. Fair prices, customized designs, and it's just unique quality clothing. All right. Now, when you're going to Etsy, you're gonna have to dig through a lot of stuff. You're gonna have to know what to search for. You're gonna have to check back every day. And one of my biggest gripes with Etsy is that if you don't buy something within a week, or two weeks, maybe even two months, it might get clapped. Now, you guys remember what I said earlier about the clothing has to be approved by the company that owns the rights to the merchandise, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, sometimes people just be selling stuff on Etsy just trying to make a quick point. If he blame them, like, they make some fire artwork, put it on a shirt to sell it, yeah, it's copyrighted. Your shop needs to be shut down. Now, if you buy stuff before it gets shut down, I mean, it's yours. You got, you got something super unique. Nobody's ever going to get that. I mean, you got the drip, man. If you really like something, you're trying to be responsible with all and wait till you get paid. Yeah, I may not be there by the time you get paid. Just saying. But besides that, Etsy is great because you're supporting people, you're supporting small businesses and helping them grow and start their own brand. So you're really putting money back into the community. And I also like Etsy because there's always something new coming out and we have very unique hats hoodies, bracelets, necklaces, etc. Like, it's a great place to shop if you're really looking for something niche and you really want something that nobody else can probably get. Now, the downside about Etsy is the shipping. The shipping oftentimes is going to take about a month before the item even gets to you because 
everything is made to order, you're dealing with people who are just establishing their business, so they're not gonna have backlogs of stuff ready to ship out the next day. You're gonna have to wait for the stuff you order. I wanna tell you the stuff that you order is going to be quality, it will be. And if it's not up to your standards, Etsy does have great customer service and they're willing to work with their customers to establish some type of middle ground between them and the seller. I really support Etsy. I've been using it for years, since about like 2017, and I really haven't been disappointed now. There have been times where the seller does not ship the item, and you do have to wait a certain amount of time before you can file a complaint, but Etsy handles that complaint within about a week, so if you're somebody who wants to grow their wardrobe, and you really want unique stuff in your wardrobe, go to Etsy. Your money won't be better spent anywhere else if you're really looking for something unique. I highly recommend them. You're going to be helping somebody who needs a little bit of money in your pocket. And at the end of the day, it's all about the drip, man. So, if you want to see how I style my anime clothing, sure to like the video and follow me on Instagram at Free the Culture. I also design anime art at Free Your Canvas on Instagram. So, I really appreciate you guys for watching the video. Let me know down in the comment section below, where do you usually cop your anime clothing from? Which series do you buy the most clothing for? And lastly, but not least, how's your day going, man? Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comment section below, man. I really appreciate you guys for checking me out. Like I said, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys, and I hope you have a blessed day. Peace.